information. And you're the only one of us who could pass for some spot straight out of uni. But I don't know anything about politics. That's all right. Picked you up some background reading. It'll be a long afternoon. Make sure you get your head round those by the morning. Got to get the details right. Mm. Wouldn't want you getting spat out too soon. Eddie's anyone? Yeah, lovely. Oh, yeah. What a lovely yeah. idea that is. <laughs> Don't work too hard. You're concerned. Ah, she is concerned. See? Unless I'm very much mistaken, Emma here is a bit anxious about how her little brother's gonna get on in the murky world of politics. Actually, that isn't what I was concerned about. Right. What I was thinking was, the demolition men get to work on the pulse on Friday, right? That's in three days. So even if this all comes off and we work out how Christie's making money and how we con her and all of that, how does that save the pulse? That's more or less what I was saying, really. After we've exposed Christie, right, everyone will see that the deal's not kosher. Yeah, but by then it'll be too late. Bulldozers would have flattened it. Mm hmm Oh, don't worry. We'll think of something. Lady in question. This policy initiative's about choice. It's about empowering communities, which is something I'm passionate about. Doesn't seem so bad. You wait till the cameras go off. OK, here's a list of 30 of the biggest London-based property developers. Albert, you've got to be one of these people. There's a lot of Aristos. Mm, funny, that. How's your toff, Albert? Not bad if I do so say myself. Um, what about this guy here, Dave McCasker? Glaswegian, do you, Gobbles? I hardly begin the name of a Scot or an air Scot myself. Uh, oh, yes, Darren Black, a cockney, that's I. Right, mate. Darren Black, Cockley, hell. Oh, um, look at... Sorry. Right, right, um, here. J.J. Kane, billionaire. There's no images coming up. No, says he's a camera show. Likes to keep himself to himself. So Christy won't have met him or know what he looks like? But she'll know who he is, though. Big name in property like that. Now, if we could convince Christy that someone like J.J. Kane would occasionally take the odd shady deal, be a great relationship for her to foster. And, mm -hmm. sorry, no offence, Albert, but he qualifies for a bus pass. Hmm. Oh, and look at that. It says here that he also happens to be American. <laughs> well, I still like to try my cockney. Yeah. We'll give her an old punt. Yeah. J.J. Kane. J.J. Kane. Mm -hmm. Albert's J.J. Kane, big property developer, new godfather. Got it. Looks like I got a new godfather. What it's not about, Peter, is, and I make no apology for this, what it's not about is top-down handouts and dependency culture. Nervous? No. Thought you might be nervous. Corridors of power and all that. Well, the thing you've got to grasp is the electorate's got the welfare and service expectations of a Scandinavian social democracy, coupled with a low tolerance for taxation levels that stray above 25%. Once you've got that, it's a piece of piss. CV. First from Cambridge. Well, I told you all that hard work and dedication would pay off, didn't I? What well, if she follows up the references? Check the telephone numbers. They're all yours. Barrington, fine fellow. Good head on his shoulders. Play golf with his father. He's a fine fellow, too. Fine. You sure you're not nervous? Only your CV's shaking a bit. All right, yeah, I might be a little bit. You must be nervous your first time. Yeah, I was, yeah. But luckily, I had Albert with me. He did something, took my mind off it. Yeah? What did he do? Ah! Stabbed on me foot, I was fine after that. Oh! Uh, Miss Christie, Miss Christie, can I have a word? How can I help? Well, I followed your career very closely. In fact, you're one of my favourite parliamentarians. Top five. Uh, scrap that. Top three. And what do you want? A job as a researcher. Sorry, I should have said that. Look, if you just take a look at my seat... Already got a pile you... of those in my office. They block the light out. Well, that's why I thought I'd approach you directly. Well, make a positive face-to-face -face impression. You still think that was a good idea, do you? I, I took a first in politics from... No, he's reciting his CV to me. I've submitted several papers to leading boring. think tanks. Look, I'm dedicated, proactive, Don't ambitious. Don't boring. I did a two-year MA. Goodbye.
Then I finished my MA, after which I served a six-month internship at Kane Holdings. Kane Holdings? How did you swing that one? It wasn't very difficult. JJ's my godfather. He's good friends with my... Follow me. Two steps behind. Uh, he's with me. I get in at eight and leave between ten and midnight. You're here when I arrive and after I go home. When you're not here, you're on call 24 hours, seven days a week. That's your desk. Position's unpaid. Sounds very fair. It's not supposed to. I'm in. Nice one. Bride and groom only, please. Hold on. Big smiles. Lovely. Sorry I have to postpone the honeymoon, my dear, but that's a business I have to take care of in the country. I'm sending through a diary now. Come in, Andy. She's horrible. It's only for a few days. A few days is a long time in politics, OK? Yep. Yeah. No, JJ, she, she's not that kind of MP. Yeah. Look, I have to go now, OK? All right, bye. I need a two-page pricey of this lot uh, within the hour. Sure. Sorry about that. It was JJ. He got kind of excited when he found out who I was working for. He's a great guy, but a bit old school in his business practices, if you know what I mean. That sounds like a character. <laughs> oh, and um, one more personal call and you're fired. If you so much as move another inch, I'll blow your head off your shoulders. Miriam, is there any way to greet an old friend? Ah, hurt. I've got to get a new prescription for these things. I might have shot you where you stand. Now, what can I do for you? You all right? Get this. I've just done a 12-hour day at work, yeah? What does she go and do? She's given me homework. Work to do at home after work. Right, so, uh, difficulties with the old work-life balance, then, eh? Oh, very insightful. <sighs> Where's Emma? Who? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true, and it's made me... So if I had to guess, I'd say those two were... <laughs> no, I don't. But what... How old are they? Uh, not very old. At that point, do you stop appreciating the, the expertise with the bride? Right. You right? And he gets big. Sean? Hi. How is a cutthroat world of political intrigue? Brilliant, yeah. I thought you could go over the breakdown of the con for me as soon as I wasn't around. Yeah, good idea. Have a seat. Hmm. I'm just going to get a drink. Well, Albert will play J.J. King, your godfather. Yeah. And uh, Emma will play Georgia, his wife. We're just working out how to get into Kane's office. I'll be their personal lawyer. Meaning you're in the office with Emma? And Albert. <laughs> That's funny, that. You and Emma working inside again. Seems to break down that way a lot, doesn't it, Mick? Only this time you got me putting in 25-hour days as Christie's personal punch bag. So worked that nice for you. That's not why... But I see what's going on. You see it? Yeah, I see it. Do you mind telling me what it is? Well, you seem to be arranging it so you can spend all of your time alone with Emma. Am I? No, I'm not messing around, Mick, OK? It's my sister we're talking about here. I want to know what you've got in mind. <laughs> this might be the most old-fashioned conversation I've ever had. Listen, I've seen the way you look at her, all right? I'm just warning you. Keep your distance. Now you two get together fine. You have your little workplace romance, whatever. That comes to an end. Are you okay to pick up where you left off? But she's not. She needs this and she.